Og vi får kørende ind til start her til kvindernes andet heat her ved EM i motocross i Næstved. Og vi har virkelig nogen, der kører stærkt. Så Andersen, som sagt, vandt første heat. Julie Dalgaard her fra Næstved Motorklub var også rigtig godt kørende. Det samme kan man sige om norske Mathias Sellebø, Emilie Dahl. Og så var der altså også flere af de andre, som viste sig. Svenske Sandra Karlsson, der blev tre af kvalifikationen i går. Hun havde ikke godt heat. Og hun vil nok gerne revancere sig lidt. Shana van der Fliest, altså heller ikke rigtig godt kørende i det første heat. Det blev nummer to i kvalifikationen i går. Så selvfølgelig også noget at hente, når vi snakker om hende. Men i hvert fald så har vi kørende på startbomben. And we are almost ready here for the second moto of the Women's European Championship opener. The winner of the first seed, the winner of the first moto, Sarah Andersen, really put the hammer down as she, she has been doing all weekend long. And maybe we will see Norwegian Matthias Seleby or Swedish Emilia Dahl pull an answer to Sarah Andersen. Or maybe local rider from Nestor Motor Club, Julia Delgaard, will put the hammer down this time. Swedish Sandra Karlsson didn't have the best moto. Shana van der Fleece didn't have the best moto either in the first moto, so they have something to regain. And let's see here what it's going to be. Who's going to pull the whole shot? Vem kommer til at tage starten her i det her andet heat? Det skal blive rigtig, rigtig spændende at se. Og så har vi i fem sekunder skiltet op, bliver det en af danskerne, der kommer til at løbe med det her hos. Og det er god start, men kommer godt afsted, det gør Sjerner van der Fliest. Sjerner van der Fliest sprints out into the front, and followed by Danish catcher Rasmussen again. And the, there comes Julia Dalgaard, and that is your top three. Okay, jeres top tre, Sjerner van der Fliest. Og så er Julia Dalgaard op på anden pladsen, Frida Østlund kommer ind om catcher Rasmussen. Og så er det Emilie Dahl, Sandra Karlsson. Amanda Bergqvist, Natalie Kane, og så først der kommer Sara Andersen. Og vi er i gang med Sjerner van der Fliesen foran Julia Dalgaard. Ned igennem de første på sving her, Katja Rasmussen på tredjepladsen foran Frida Østlund. Så er det Emilie Dahl, og så er det Sandra Karlsson. Amanda Bergqvist side om side er passeret af Sara Andersen, så kommer Natalie Kane. Og det er altså sådan, de starter. Uh, så kører vi. Here we go, ladies. Julia Delgo out in front to the delight of her local club members here at Nestle Motor Club. Shana van der Fliest in second in front of Emilia Dahl and then it's Danish catch Rasmussen, Sandra Carlson. And then the rest as we see here, Julia Delgo is pulling away from Shana van der Fliest. As they had a great duel battling it out yesterday and maybe we will see that again today in this second moto. It's the last thing that's going to happen on track today, so better give it your all, ladies. We are going to watch the magic happen. But where is Sarah Andersen? Also, a little down in the winner of the first heat. And it's going to be interesting to see. In any case, Julia Dahlgaard ser vi foran Sjerna van der Fliest, og hun har en overfrakke på, og den kommer fra Sverige, og hedder Emilia Dahl, og hun springer forbi Sjerna van der Fliest, Emilia Dahl, og op på anden pladsen. Swedish Emilia Dahl passes Shana van der Fliest and moves into second and now she has her eyes set on local Julia Delgo who's out in the front and there is really battle, battling out here. Og stadig med danske Katja Rasmussen på fire pladsen foran Sandra Carlsson, Natalie Keynes og så kommer Sarah Andersen foran Frida Østlund. Og der bliver altså virkelig gået til det her, vi ser Julia Delgo kæmper alt, hvad hun har lært, og hun har altså kørt flere omgang på den her bane, end de fleste har. Kommer altså herfra Næstved, og har trænet her rigtig, rigtig mange gange. Vandt DM for kvinder sidste år, Julie Dalgaard. Holdt altså en pause efterfølgende, har så været i, træn i Spanien og træne. Og lige nu fører hun altså feltet an, som de kommer over målstregen her. Der bliver klappet af officialsene rundt og se det er fedt at se. Og stadig med Sjerner van der Fløst på tredjepladsen, foran Katja Rasmus, og så er Natalie Kane foran Sara Andersen. Så vi altså har kamp for spidsen her imellem Emilie Dahl og Julia Delgo. And we are watching closely for the battle for the lead between local girl Julia Delgo and Swedish rider Emilie Dahl. 
and still they have to watch out for Shana van der Vliest who's just just after them but behind them the winner of the first photo Sana she's really putting a move on she's up into fourth and she just passed three riders in like a straight while Julia Delgo loses the front loses out to Emilia Dahl and so we have a Swedish in front of Emilia Dahl sticks away from Julia Delgo and so the Danish girl pass on that she doesn't have any passing to Shana van der Vliest but in any case so we can see Heia Sverige because Emilia Dahl up to the first place and it looks like she tries to stick away from Julia Delgo Julie virkelig gør, hvad hun kan for at holde Shana van der Flist for livet. Julie desværre havde et lille styr i første hit. Hun var ellers rigtig godt med. Og hun har altså været den bedste danske pige. Hun måske også måske de seneste par sæsoner, Julie Dahlgaard. Hun skal altså ikke glemme at nævne, at Sara Anders, der vandt første hit, altså er forsvaret i Europamester for sidste år. Det er godt at se, at vi også i den her klasse har rigtig, rigtig mange gode kører, eftersom vi lige så Mads Fredsø for lidt siden vinden, altså i 65 kubik. Og Emilie Dahl stikker af fra Julie Dahlgaard, der skal fast på Sjerner van der Fist, og så kommer Sara Andersen, og det ser altså ud som om, at Fynbogen har virkelig, virkelig skruet op for Yamaha'en, kildet godt under kædestyr og det hele, som de kommer op til målstregen forbi her Julie Dahlgaard som toer Sjana van der Flis som treer og så er det Sara Andersen bag ved dem Natalie Kane virkelig kæmper for at hænge på så det Katja Rasmussen så det Sandra Carlsson Frida Østlund og så kommer de ellers dernede af Sara Andersen lægger virkelig pres på hollandske Sjana van der Flis and then we have an Epic battle unfolding here. The battle for the second place. Julia Delgo is in that second place right now, but she's gonna be passed by Shana van der Vliet. She's gonna outdrive Julia Delgo down the straight, and then they're gonna jump down to the hole and pass this little corner here. And Sara Anas is trying to dive inside. Let's see, Julia Delgo. What's gonna happen there? Side by side, and then just gonna reclaim that spot right there. That is racing, ladies. Julia Delgo still in second in front of Shana van der Vliet and Sara Andersen. While Emilia Dahl really is pulling away in front. Julia Delgo, Shana van der Vliet looks over at Sara Andersen. Let's see who's gonna come out on top here. It's really close. Really, really close here. Sara Andersen is just trying to run away around in front of her. And while the Swedish rider is getting away in the front, this battle is what's keeping our watch. There you have it. Still with Julia Delgo in front, in front of Shana van der Vliet and Sara Andersen. Also still with Julia Delgo for Shana van der Vliet and Sara Andersen. Now let's see here, Julia can hold fast in Shana van der Vliet. Hold it in on the delivery. It's a good idea. So I'm blind. So we're going to see here Shana van der Vliet. So we're going to see here Shana van der Vliet. So we're going to see here. Og Julie der har lige fået lavet et par cykellænker, mens vi slet ikke kan se Emilie Dolly i billedet. Og der er Sara Andersen prøver at køre ind om Tjerner van der Vlies. Lykkes det? Det gør det. Og jeg tror altså desværre, at vi må sige, at Julie Dahlgaards motorcykel har tabt et eller andet for udstødning. Den larmer i hvert fald rigtig, rigtig meget spørgsmål, om hun ikke bliver pillet ud. Altså stadig kørende rundt derude, Julie Dahlgaard. Men hendes Honda, den larmer altså rigtig, rigtig meget. Spørgsmålet er, om hun ikke får et sort flag. Men i hvert fald, så kommer Sara Andersen op til sin danske kollega. Det er 703 med det gule tøj, Julie Dahlgaard foran Sara Andersen. Bag ved dem, jamen, der er det stadig Sjerner van der Fist, og så er det Natalie Kane. Okay, there you have it, folks. 
unfortunately it's gonna it sounds like there's a problem with Julie Delgo's bike it really it's really really noisy and I'm I think she's gonna be pulled out of the race anytime soon but she continues racing to hold off fellow countrymen Sahana's right behind her and then they're just trying to get away from Shana van der Vries. but look at Irishman Natalie Kane he's she's all the way up breathing down the back of the Dutchman well, we see big tabletop here Sana really tries to dive inside Julie Delgo that's not gonna happen but I wonder if she's gonna be allowed to race around the track oh she's gonna be pulled out of there yeah that's too bad Julie Delgo is out of the race we see here yeah you can see here Julie Delgo has a bit of a problem as a problem with Honda in really like the idea only for Julie Delgo Ja, så nødt til at opgive her. Det er slet, slet ikke det, hun havde håbet på, selvfølgelig. Men det betyder, at Sara Andersen er oppe på andenpladsen. Og som det ser ud lige nu, ja, så ligger hun altså til at vinde. Det her, den her afdeling, i og med, at Emilie Dahl, der altså fører det hele an. Jamen, hun blev kun nummer tre i det første helt, det skal vi huske. Må der altså give en placering til Mathias Selebø. Mathias Selebø, der helt som nummer 10. Og har billeder her af svensk Emilie Dahl. Simpelthen ærgerligt, ærgerligt, ærgerligt for Julie Dahlgaard. Og vi havde ellers lige en fed duel, de to danskere imellem. Men det betyder samtidig også, at vi må sætte vores lid til en anden dansker, Sara Andersen. Så stadig 10 minutter endnu for Danske Sara Andersen at få fat i sin svenske kollega her i Billedal, der indtil videre altså har opbygget et rigtig, rigtig fornuftigt forspring. Vi kan se her, at Sara Andersen ikke kommet ind i billedet endnu, og altså springer ned her igen i Billedal. Men ned igennem branchehullerne, så drejer hun til venstre, og så hopper hun faktisk ind på den anden del af banen, kan man sige. Så hun kommer op til den første om omgangskører her, altså Danske Katrine Juel Nielsen. Og her ser vi afstanden. Det er Sara Andersen bag ved hendes hjerne og fandt flist, og så er det Nathalie Kane. Ian, der har domineret det svenske mesterskab, altså har hentet store resultater i VM for kvinder. Nathalie Kane, som virkelig skuffet lidt her, synes jeg i hvert fald som et personligt synspunkt på mig. Men Sara Andersen, hvor har hun kørt flot. Spørgsmålet er, om hun kan nå at få fingrene i Emilie Doll. Ja, det er altså en rigtig hurtigt kørende svenske, vi har ude foran. And as we speak, if we ended this round right now, it would mean that Sara Andersen here would be the victor as she overtakes a back marker. That's Danish Katrine Yenich. As she tries to catch Swede Emilie Dahl. As we follow the, the Danish rider around here, she can't really lose the Dutchman Shana van der Vliest. And then again with Shana van der Vliest, who has some company now because Natalie Kane has awoken from her slumber and is ready to put the, the Dutchman under pressure. And let's hope we're going to see a battle as we see the massive lead Emilia Dahl has pulled on the other women in this race. And she is looking very good. Actually, she was so close at closing the deal and, and, and claimed second in the first moto, but she just lost out to Norwegian Mathias Sillebø just before the finish line. And that is your gap right there, your first two position riders. And that would also, according to my calculations done in my very stupid head, um, be your number one and number two overall for this round. Really, really smooth-looking Emilia Dahl. Let's see if we can make something of the gap. And there you have it. Natalie Kane just in shot. This is the battle for third position between 44 and Natalie Kane and 
Cristiano van der Vliest. And we can see it in the background here as we follow Sara Andersen. Altså, rigtig godt kørende Sara Andersen. Men bag hende, der er der faktisk ved at være en lille duel om den her tredjeplads imellem ISG Natalie Kane her. Og hollandske Cristiano van der Vliest foran hende. Natalie Kane virkelig kæmpet med at få det hele til at spille her i Næstved. Har stort set ikke kørt en træning eller en kval. Og det er gået sådan rigtig godt, Natalie Kane. Udsætning til hende her, Emilie Dahl, ser ud som om hun endelig har fundet melodien her rundt på isseringen. Og det er altså en, en hårdbane, men jeg synes også, at vi skal bruge tid til at rose Næstved Motorklub for den her bane, der altid spiller ved, man kører på den, eller man står og kigger på den. Hvis man kigger på tiderne, jamen, så kan man altså se, at Star Andersen ikke henter ind på Emilie Dahl lige nu. Det er altså svenskeren, der ser ud som om, at hun har styr på, hvad der skal være styr på. Det ser ud som om, hun har helt styr på det her i næste år. Men vi skal altså også lige huske på, at det er ikke nok for Emilie Dahl. Så længe Star Andersen bare bliver nummer to, jamen, så er det altså også hende, der løber med den samlede sejr. Så bliver det selvfølgelig spændende at se, hvem der bliver placeret dernede af. Men vi kan jo altså rigtig godt lide. Og som vi ser lige nu, så kommer vi til at have en dag her i næste, hvor vi altså får en dansker ind på anden pladsen i 85, en vinder i 65 og en vinder i dameklassen. Og det kan altså næsten ikke siges mere tydeligt, at der bliver sunget højere rødhvide nationalsange, end der gør nogle af de andre her på næste. Dahl i en som majestæt kigger sig lige over skulderen, men Tarn Andersen kommer altså ikke til der på. And as of right now, if you look at the lap times, it is Swedish Emilia Dahl here with the number 555 on the blue Yamaha, who's kicking everyone's butts right in this moment, actually. Tarn Andersen isn't closing the gap, but she's just maintaining the gap. She has done to Shana van der Vliest in third, and she's just ahead of Irishman Natalie Kane. while we follow Swedish Emilia Dahl around the track in the bright blue dress here. As the shadows are getting a little longer here around this Nisavang track at this little Denmark. And it is, of course, because the sun is starting to come down And the question remains, will Natalie Kane be able to snatch this third place from the hands of Shana van der Vliest? But we should really appreciate some of the talent we have here in Scandinavia. We see Sandra Carlson pass the camera, Mathis Silleberg, along with Kasia Rasmussen. There's a lot of Danish, Swedish and Norwegian girls who are really on fire at the moment and it's a joy to watch, especially if you're a Scandinavian motocross nut, as I would describe myself. Som vi følger Emilie Dahl her rundt på banen, så løber i tiden, vi så stille og roligt i tre minutter, to omgange er der tilbage lige i øjeblikket. på billedet, så skal vi måske lige notere, altså, at Julie Dalgaard, hun er tilbage på banen, har fået fikset det problem, der var med hendes Honda, og det er selvfølgelig altid ærgerligt, men godt at se, at hun er ude og køre igen. Så længe det er sådan noget, der er galt, det gider altså ikke at se på alt for mange grimme styrt og syg i trætbanker, der bor, så har vi faktisk heller ikke stort set ikke haft nogen, der er blevet kørt væk her i den her weekend i næste år. Det gør det jo bare endnu mere behageligt at være på som frostfan. Og det er selvfølgelig altid ærgerligt, når sådan et fantastisk arrangement her, det nærmer sig afslutning, men der er rigtig, rigtig mange fantastiske arrangementer, vi skal have afviklet her i Danmark i år, og det er selvfølgelig bare en fantastisk skue. And of course, uh, as I just said to my Danish countrymen, it's a little sad when an arrangement like this, an event like this is coming to an end, especially if when it has been a very good one, but we have 
a lot of great events coming to Denmark this year, so it's it's gonna be gonna be nice. Already in two weeks' time, we're gonna have the second leg of the 65cc and 85cc uh, World Championship, uh, sorry, European Championship uh, qualifier. It's gonna be held in Kolding, in the other part of Denmark, in Jutland actually, but it's also a hard pack track and it's a very nice track and very nice location. So we are very pleased to welcome all the uh, foreign riders to come to race at Kolding also. If they can beat the Danish chaps, uh, it looks like it has been a challenge for them, I have to say, but you can make me eat my words. Please do that, uh, foreign guys. We love to have you in our country, and we love to have foreign viewers watching Danish racing. <laughs> While we follow Emilia Dahl around, no big changes in front. She just passes Danish rider Amanda Storm. Lap down. I mentioned as a Emilia Emilia Dahl won here. This is the Hino Hatra Sekunda at the bay. And they have heats of all the Tomgang skills, and so it is the Hino. And it is here, so we get in and in. Samlet Sejr her, her i Næstved, og det bliver Sara Andersen, der starter sin titelforsvar i den her EM-titel med en fantastisk sejr her i Næstved. Og der er nok heller ikke mangel på smil for en bilje. Dahl kunne jeg forestille mig, det har altså også været fuldstændig fantastisk at race for hendes side af. Selvfølgelig lidt uheld til danske Julie Dahlgaard, og det er selvfølgelig ikke så noget, vi gider at se, men nogle gange, så er det sådan, og så må man lære at leve med det. And we are running on the last two laps, and it's also going to be the last two laps of this whole event here in Nestville. It has been a wonderful weekend. It's a little cloudy now, but we have seen plenty of sun out here on the track. And it's kind of like what we want, want, really. It has been a little chilly, and here you have it. Sa Andersen will be the second Danish victor the second Danish winner this weekend. We just saw Mass Frelsø, and also we had Magnus Schmidt in the 85. She came home with a second place, so a really good, 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 good day for the Danish lads, and I am almost up here clapping my little fat hands for what, for how this has turned out, but no really major changes in the, in the standings right now, so we're just gonna have to enjoy that we have this kind of talent in the, in the girls also good to see this amount of girls show up for a race like this another danish rider being passed here danish made it that's very good to see it's also a field with a, a lot of diversity i have to say a lot of different skill level but it's all about getting yourself out there, get some 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 race experience, experience what these really fast girls running in world championship speed can do, and then just measure up against that. Emilia Dahl coming up to the finish line, and when she does, she will get the one lap board. She will get that little yellow sign out there in the right side of the screen. Going down the hill for the last time this weekend. And it is still with Danish Sa Anast on the second place. In third is Shana van der Vlist, and in fourth is Natalie Kane. And that is probably how they're gonna turn out. But we're gonna do the a lot smarter people than me is gonna do the calculating on the overall a little bit later on. But I can guarantee you that we will have a Danish winner because in the first motor we saw Matthias Silvu take the second. Place and she's no way near the front right now. 
not so fortunate for the Norwegian rider, but that maybe shows a little how these, how far apart these girls is and how much talent we have here. It can do, go either way. If you can make a good start, you can make a good finish, but if you're not up there in the start, you're gonna have a very hard time closing the gap. Og så er vi altså ude på sidste omgang, drenge og piger, små og store, mænd og kvinder. Og det betyder også, at det er det sidste race, vi får lov at se her fra næste i denne omgang. I hvert fald Emilie Dahl her kørte et fuldstændig fantastisk race, med altså også lille whip der til folket. Godt at se, at vi har nogle piger, der kan holde det her tempo. Det er en fornøjelse at se på, og det er også en fornøjelse, at den samlede sejr kommer til at gå til Danmark, i hvert fald hvis det slutter lige nu. Nu skal jeg aldrig jinxe nogen, og vi har altså seks styr på sidste omgang, men hvis det slutter sådan her, jamen, så bliver det Sara Andersen, som vi som danskere forventer os rigtig meget af i de kommende år. Allerede nu faktisk rykket op fra 125 kubik til den her to en halv sidste år, og har bare gjort det fuldstændig blændende på den. Altså siger hun ved Europamester sidste år på sin 125 kubik, så det var ikke fordi, at hun kørte langsomt på den heller. Emilia Dahl rundt i opkamp og svinget op af bakken her for sidste gang. Og rundt i svinget, og så hedder jeres vinder. There you have it, folks. You're a winner of the second most is gonna be Swedish Emilia Dahl. And she is very pleased with that. And there you have it, Sarnas across the line in second, and that means she's gonna win the overall here. And then we're just gonna wait on Shana van der Vliet. She's gonna cross there, and Natalie Kane is gonna be fourth. Great hole shot in this motor, which was uh, the best uh, start you could actually get. And uh, then you had a hard battle with Natalie Kane for the whole moto. Talk about the pressure she gave you. Yeah, she gave me a lot of pressure, but I uh, tried to stay calm and uh, keep my own lines and uh, don't crash. And and it uh, goes well. Perfect. Gien is to han. Shana van der Vliet. Oh, so have we also the sejr kvinden fra andet heat here. Og det var altså Emilia Dahl giving it on. So Emilia, you had uh, some really hard battles both yesterday and also in the first moto, but uh, this moto was uh, pretty much what you wanted, huh? Yeah, it was very good. I'm very happy about it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And um, you saw some pressure a little bit in the end from uh, Sarah, but you had such a good lead. Did you feel the pressure at all? Yeah, the three last laps, I feel the pressure very much. <laughs> was it uh, was it easy? Because it looked easy out there. You were so far in front. Uh, it feels very good. So yeah. <laughs> Giv hende en stor hånd også. 